been thinking a lot about what I'm doing after I graduate. Since I'm trying to stay in Boston this coming year, and possibly forever, I need to look for apartments. So most of what I've been talking about recently is dealing with the future. It's imminent. I have to be a grown-up soon, which is weird, because I've never really had to be a grown-up. My relative very kindly had let me stay in their home, so I had to, you know, man, man an entire place to myself and, like, feed myself. In college, you don't really have all that much because you're given food a lot of the time. You might sometimes have to, like, get your own food. My experience was swipe lunch. This summer, I actually had to, like, cook for myself if I wanted to eat. I turned 21 this summer. That's right. I'm 21. I can do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. I would like that glass of white wine. Riesling is my favorite wine so far. It's weird, because I have to start thinking about, um, like, budgeting my money. Okay, well, I want to have a cell phone, and I'd love to have the internet, and I have to feed myself, and I have to live somewhere, which is, like, a huge, like, chunk of everything that you make is making sure you can sleep somewhere and not get accosted by random strangers because you're sleeping in a box. My biggest concern right now is thinking about living somewhere. My friend and I are actually looking for a place. And it's, it's daunting. You no, know, I've never had to do that. My, my dad lives in the house that he grew up in and I grew up in and then his mom grew up in like three people, three generations have lived in that house. But then when my parents got divorced and separated, you know, my mom's living one place. But that's her deal, because I was 10 at the time. And then she moved to another place. But that was never really, like, that's not me. That's not me doing anything. I'm not paying for the house. I'm just living there. Looking for an apartment, I have to come up with, like, the money to pay there. I have to, like, think about what I want in an apartment. My big things so far have been, um, I'd love to expand my cooking abilities. And in order to do so, I, I've been keeping my eye on kitchens. And some of the places that me and my friend have looked at have been, like, Oh, what a good kitchen. And one of them had like counter space about this wide and we decided that was too small. Hannah's gonna be baking a lot. Hannah needs to have a little more space than that. Hannah will refer to herself as a third person. Growing up, crap. This is not something, I think there should be a class. There should be a class about how to like do life. Oh, you like to look for an apartment? Let me tell you how to do that. They're just sort of like, go forward. Find yourself a place to live. Feed yourself if you can. I kind of wish they had home ec, but like, you know, not like, how do you make a souffle? More like, here's how you buy an apartment. Here's how you make sure you stay in your apartment. Here's how to be a good neighbor. That just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> but, you know, my parents believe in me and my friends are, you know, believe in me and my bosses are like, you know, like, it will be fine and stuff. And I'm thankful that my bosses and my family have been very eager to help me out. And when I go to them for advice, like taxes and apartment hunting, and like what to look for and how to be an adult, they've been very good, very forthcoming with their information. So, recommendation, good adults. They know what they're talking about. They've done this before you have.